Roanoke Airport was my home. I uh, got into instructing and I just stayed instructing. It seemed like the Lord just put me in a spot and said, this is where I want you and do the best you can. Well, I stayed there for, for 57 years as a flight instructor. There was a magazine published that said I had taught more students to fly in Southwest Virginia than any other flight instructor. Now, I don't know whether that's true or not, but I know I have taught a lot of people. Never had a student damaged an airplane, and I loved what I was doing. I can't remember the time when I wasn't interested in aviation. Even as a little fella, my first desire was the airport. Mom and Dad uh, take us out there on Sunday. Bob Donahoe, who later was made the airport manager, he said, well, son, said, you can hang around here, but said, you're going to work. I worked, and I worked hard. I didn't want them to run me off. I got my private, then right after that, I uh, got my commercial, and shortly after that, I uh, got my instructor's rating. I was just a ticket seller, but I was with the Barnstormers on up until the late 30s and early 40s when I was legal to do it then. We were just kind of coming out of the Depression. A lot of people didn't have money, so we, we would trade for butter and eggs and chickens and a ham, take the whole family up for a ham. I've come home several nights from the cockpit half full of country products like that. People just didn't realize how bad off we were for pilots at the beginning of World War II, and they didn't have anybody to teach. So they were asking flight instructors all over the country to get into the military. Well, they weren't asking, they were telling. For four years, I gave up my career to go into the Navy in order to teach. We didn't have airplanes to teach in. We had to confiscate airplanes from private owners. And uh, later on, we were using WACOs, the UPF-7s. Uh, after the war, I freelanced for a little while. In 1951, we started the Hillman Flying Service. We'd done a little of everything. Of course, most of it was student instruction and renting the airplanes out. We'd done a lot of charter, passenger rides, and we operated that for 33 years. Right now, I've got students flying as executive pilots, charter pilots, captains on airlines all over the world. I'm not bragging when I tell you these things. I'm just proud of these guys. They've gone out and made this world a better place to live. We 
we've got letters back there on the desk that thick from the people we taught to fly. All of them, I mean, since 1940. And every one of them just say, thanks for giving me a direction.